Qatar's wealth fund is set to invest $1 billion in India's largest retailer. Kanta's CEO plays down concerns over sky-high airfares amid an ongoing debate over Qatar Airways' rejection. Qatar is among countries filing the most Schengen visa applications per capita. A big moment for Qatari basketball as Sheikh Saud Ali Al Thani is elected as the new FIBA president. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar's sovereign wealth fund has announced plans to invest $1 billion in India's Reliance Retail Ventures Limited. The investment in the retail arm of India's Reliance Industries is a 1% stake in the company. Reliance Retail was last valued at $62.4 billion in 2020 and is India's largest retailer. The debacle continues down under. Kanta CEO Alan Joyce has addressed the debate surrounding Australia's rejection of additional Qatar Airways flights, suggesting sky-high airfares have started to moderate. Joyce's comments come after industry insiders claimed adding more Qatar Airways flights into Australia would immediately reduce prices and appears to be aimed at putting to bed concerns over a lack of supply and rising demand. Earlier this week, Australia's shadow finance minister vehemently condemned the decision to reject an additional 21 Qatar Airways flights. And now, nationals from Qatar, Kosovo, and Kuwait filed the most visa applications per capita in 2022 to Europe. According to Schengen statistics, Qatar came third with the number of applicants per capita at 2,939 applicants per 100,000 inhabitants. This is equivalent to 2.9% of the population in Qatar. And finally, the International Basketball Federation Congress has unanimously elected Sheikh Saud bin Ali Al Thani as the new president for the upcoming 2023 2027 cycle. The election was held ahead of the start of the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup, co-hosted by the Philippines, Japan, and Indonesia. Qatar is set to host the FIBA Basketball World Cup in 2027. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.